this is a sound story of Midget Tail Midget Land. You will be hearing sounds. This is copyrighted by uh, uh, Gramophone Story Studios. Uh, written by Aiden. Made by Aiden. Sound designed by Aiden. Recorded by Aiden. Once there was a midget. Storyteller Aiden. Once there was a midget. Who was out of school? He didn't know where he was. He was a lost one. There was children running all around him. He was terrified. He ran away. the tree into his shade. The shade was it felt nice to the midget. It was a hot sunny day after all. And he hasn't seen shade in for a while since he travels slowly. But he decided to stay at the shade because there's no kids there. No danger. Just some ants, and that's it. He looked up, just saw some nice green leaves. And, and he looked up at the sky. Clouds, fluffy. One looked like a, an actual dog. And he looked over at the tree again. Seeing another, another child in the other side. That's not good for the midget. He could be in danger. He, well, he ran to a different tree. He ran as fast as he could. Finally made it. Tired as ever, he fell down onto his back. He almost went to sleep. Hmm. Yeah. But he didn't, luckily. So the midget got back up. He looked around the tree to see if there was any danger. Just some weird wood things with like a top on them. Uh, he, he, he doesn't know much, but apparently one midget told him that those are acorns. Nuts. And so, it's food. Yeah, it was food for the midget, although the midget's favorite food so far is candy wrappers. He doesn't know any other foods, really, except for grass and flowers. But he doesn't like grass and flowers. That's an emergency food. He's not a cow. He, he was alone. No other midgets to be seen. Except for one. But that's all the way at the other side of the field. Past that, that very rocky concrete, like sidewalk thing. And the midget doesn't like to go on those. He doesn't like to walk on concrete or bark or any sharp things, like like rocky stuff, like that rocky road is. Unless he's wearing shoes. That is his size. He saw no shoes his size on the ground. So he doesn't want to go on there. He only goes on them if it's an emergency. But, um, he wanted to go over there. So he did it anyways. But it's all the way at the other side of the field. 
It was a huge field. And I, he realized that he was looking around, and he realized that he was trapped. Dun, dun, dun. He was trapped. He couldn't get out. There's one fence gate closed, locked. There's fences. But at least the space that he was in was huge. But it had lots of children. Lots and lots. So he was worried. He saw some little buildings too. Those were of the concrete. Rocky space. Well, he was lost. He doesn't know what to do. Until he found a candy wrapper. He took it. He doesn't know where to put it. This midget doesn't have pockets. In fact, not much do have pockets. He decides to go get his friend, which has moved. He doesn't know where he went because he was looking around the place for quite a while, thinking about how to get out. Found no way. Now he has to go look for his friend. All of a sudden, he spotted his friend. He's in the bark area, but not in on the bark. He's on like a little structure thing with a slide. He doesn't know what a slide is, though. So, the midget stayed up there, thinking that it was safe. He got to the, he watched the midget get terrified as there was little kids everywhere in that tiny space. So, the midget had to jump down. He went down the red, bumpy slide. And so he slid down, bumpy, and was even more terrified. It was like a roller coaster to him. A little tiny roller coaster. So, well, he went through all of the rocky, spiky bark and went back on the spiky, rocky road. And then he went back on the grass. Not on the on the side where it has the sandbox. On the side where the other midget is. So, the midget got out of his tree and went forwards to his little midget friend that got out of that terrifying little tiny room in the middle of the bark. He, he went, he ran, he ran. Until he could run no longer. So, now, the midget has to rest. And the, it, without any shade. So he's resting in a hard, hot, he's resting in the bright hot sun. Cooking alive. But he needs to make it to his friend. His friend saw him. But uh, he saw him as he was tired, exhausted, laying down in the heat light. So he rushed to him, but there was kids in the way. So he has to go all around them. to rest at some point too. So the first midget, the one that went out of his tree, is the main character here. So the main midget went back to his tree. But uh, the other midget was really tired too. And he wasn't near shade. Oh, poor midget. He saw another midget, too. So, that, that 
that's weird. Why is there three midgets here? Main midget was kind of confused until he saw uh, five children go to his tree. He was very tired, but he, he had to rush to the other tree, which the other children has left. Right in the middle of the way, he got right when he was running. In the middle of it, he passed out. and he so he was thirsty dehydrated and still tired so he still he has to walk there slowly was but so he ran back to his tree he first though collected some uh, some water and his candy wrapper to make it have some nice candy flavor candy wrapper flavor to it and have more water so he walks there to carefully bring the water a little bit better, but not that much better. Anyways, the midget got back to his little tree in the shade, and the bell rang. Ring. All the kids came running, and a lot of them went running past the tree, tripping over the midget, and the and there was a disaster! Dun dun dun! That midget was running all over the wood. He didn't know what to do. So, he had to run away. He couldn't hop over the fence. He couldn't get out. And what do I do? Yeah, they were all over the other tree. They were everywhere. Until, well, he made, until one minute later, all of them went inside of the little buildings. What happened? The midget thought to himself. So, yeah, the midget doesn't know how to speak English. Only his thoughts does. If he tries to speak, he would only say midget, because that's all that they can say, or even midge. But, that's for shorter words or shorter parts of the words. Anyways, they all went inside. And uh, the midget had free time to roam around. Yay! So, what does the midget do? He hunts for candy wrappers. He only found three of them, which was kind of disappointing because he was really hungry. So he had no more choice but to search for the less tasty candy wrappers. 
or maybe possibly more tasty if it, if the trash cans are full of candy wrappers. Yeah, he thought to himself, this is not that much. I guess I'll have to search the trash cans. It, it could either taste a little bit worse than normal, way worse than normal, or absolutely terrible. Ah, well, at least it would be better than eating grass. Unless people throw up or throw a turd in there. He hates it when that happens. He'd rather eat grass. So, the midget searched. He found like five more. He didn't want to really go deep in there because there's a lot of trash and it's gross. So, they only found the ones they could see up the top. So, he found five more and he's like, yeah, I guess this is enough. So, the midget was happy. And I... And that's the end of our story. Except for... When the bell rang. This is a spoiler. When the bell rang again, he met a, a kid. Will he be friendly? Will he be a foe? Will he be a bully? Will he take all of his candy wrappers and throw them away? Who knows? Find out next time in Midget Stories. Sorry for the spoilers.